is Josh, um, been working here for um, almost, I think, two years now. I don't even remember. But yeah, um, the requirement came uh, from, I'm not on the project, but I was pulled in uh, to help with this. Uh, it looks like there is an option set value uh, that the customer both wanted to see the value and the description of the option set. So what they did was in um, kind of the um, settings, they created these option set values. Sorry, should have gone to it quicker. They create these option set values. Uh, should probably go to the, uh, a few, All right, man, let's see how quickly this speeds up. Anyway, they just have these uh, option sets with the value and the description. Uh, the customer wanted to see both the value and the description because in the context of things, the value one doesn't make sense to them, right? Even though they wanted to keep that as the as the value, um, uh, they will also wanted to see like a human readable version of the option set. So we created a PCF control that I use this, uh, thanks to Jeff, the web API to pull uh, the metadata for the option set, right? So it's the same thing that Jeff just showed. I use kind of the same request to retrieve the, the data, and then I bound the value to the text in the option set. So they wanted it in two option set, since it's a PCF control, um, you can basically bind it to any option set field um, as part of kind of a scalable solution. So, um, yeah, that's that's basically what the request is. Uh, since we we built it in house, uh, any customer that needs the same kind of experience can just import the the PCF control and then bind it to an option set and kind of move it from there. Um, any questions on this one? Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, I, sorry, I have a question. When you build these PCFs, is that um, do you what solution do you do you have it in its own solution? Do you just typically put it inside the customization solution? How so? Or do you so, use so how it works is that the the C yeah the CLI creates what they call like a uh, the CLI has a, a pack command where it basically bundles your uh, solution for uh, uh, components for you. And then it also has a push command that creates the solution. So this solution right here, I don't know why it's dark. I don't know what happened here, but um, <laughs> it, it basically creates this like a power apps uh, a solution with the, uh, the prefix that you choose. And then it puts the component that you built into the solution and then all oh. you have to do is now that it's in the solution you can go to the components section right i have a tax business and then add it on your form and then add, in add the solution it, that you're pushing. Okay. control yeah 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 so on the form if we look at the it's taking time but basically um, I'm not sure if anyone has added components before, but if you go to the form, uh, the account form, I hope it's the main form. Let me see. PCC sales. PCC sales. Yeah. yeah. The control on the field. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not part of the project. I don't know where your stuff is, <laughs> but here in the Avatex uh, field, if I can find it right here all we did was we created we since the solution was in imported you go basically to the controls and then you just look for that control and then you bind it right and then you know you choose the option set that needs to be bound now uh, uh, pcf controls can be bound to fields or grids um, so we kind of use the field um, component any other questions? Thanks, Thank Josh. You. Yeah.